uh, what come back to short in our own work in the career training and development. <laughs> We'll share the screen and we'll go to uh, the uh, contents. Yeah, share the screen first. Yeah, that's now the screen is shared, that's fine. And we'll go to the uh, contents which came for today. And our contents is the career development, how it looks like. And uh, this, we want to enlarge it into the level of 100. Hundred, and here we go now. It's criteria for training and development. There are two criteria for evaluation, as we see. We have two criteria for evaluation. The first uh, criteria is internal criteria associated with the contents of training and development. So the internal internal is related to the contents of the uh, training and development, and the external criteria associated with the cost benefit analysis of training and development. So now don't forget please that the internal criteria is associated with the contents of the training program. We are, meanwhile, the, exter the external is associated with the cost benefit analysis, associated with the cost benefit analysis. Okay. This is regarding the, uh, we'll go now to the next point, which is the internal criteria. We'll check out the internal criteria. So what are the uh, main points which we focus about in the internal criteria? Under the, this, there are many approaches. Three most common are URI Lee or URI, uh, Patrick approaches, Kiro, C-I-R-O approaches, and it's C-I-P-P approaches. We'll see now each one of them, what does it mean? For the URL approaches, the approach involves four levels of evaluation and answers for to four questions. Reaction, live reaction, where the participants pleased with the program. Were they are pleased with the program or no? The reaction regarding the training program. Learning, what did they learn? Behavior, uh, did the, particip the participants or the trainee change his behavior based on what he learned. Learning is not enough. Learning <laughs> alone is not enough. But we have also to uh, get benefit of practicing what we came to learn. It's not only the matter of learning, but also to practice what you came to learn. Results, did the change in behavior positively affect the organization? Did it affect the organization or no? If it affected the organization, that's fine. If it didn't affect the organization, uh, that is not one. So here, did the change in behavior positively affect the organization? Yes or no? This, uh, the uh, four questions based on the uh, URL uh, evaluation method. CIRO approaches or Kiro approaches, this approach gives importance to training and development evaluation in terms of context, the contents of the training program, the inputs or the costs of the training program, the reaction and the outputs of the uh, training program. So C for the contents, I for the inputs, the inputs, R for the reaction and O for the outputs. Like you see here, C for the contents, I for the inputs, R for the reaction, and O for the outputs. 
Contents evaluation, it involves collecting the information about the performance, deficiency, and setting objectives with three levels, immediate, intermediate, and ultimate. Content, input evaluation. Answer for questions like relative merit, the merit of uh, different training and developments. Is it feasible for outsourcing the training program? Should it be organized with internal sources? How much time required for the preparation? What results were obtained when a similar program was conducted in the past? Those are the points which we care about in the CIRO approach. CIRO again stands for the context, the inputs, the reaction, and the outputs of the trainee. And we have to evaluate every one of them. So the context evaluation is about the information of the program. Is, a, this, is it enough, uh, sufficient, because it's divided into three levels, immediate, intermediate, and ultimate, based on the objectives itself. The second part is about the input evaluations. Uh, answer the questions like relative merits, uh, if it is visible for outsourcing, should be recognized with internal resources, how much time it required, and what are the results were obtained when a similar program was conducted or no. Uh, we have also the reaction evaluation, the R, because we said C-I-R-O, reaction evaluation. This includes subjective reports from the particular about the whole programs and contains questions about the training and development materials, instructors, uh, pedagogy, uh, presentation and facilities, Outcome evaluation, this includes the following aspects, defining training and development objectives, constructing uh, measures of these objectives, assessing the results, and using uh, them to improve future uh, programs. This approach take context inputs, and this is what the CIPP approach now. We are talking now about the CIPP approach. Uh, context, uh, inputs, process and product. So C, I, C for context, I for the inputs, uh, P for the process and P for the product. Context evaluation involves evaluation of training and development need at multi analytical, uh, formulating objectives in the lights of these needs. So I'll check out for what I need, then I will do the training program based on my needs. Input evaluation involves evaluation of determining policies, budgets, schedules, procedures for organizing program. Process evaluation involves evaluation of preparation of reaction sheets, rating scales, and analytical of re relevant records. So this is the second. Uh, the product evaluation also, because we say CIPP, so we have P for product, involves measuring and interpreting the attainment uh, of training uh, development objectives. That was regarding here, and I will go now for new questions. I will go now for our new questions on these topics, particularly also I will take uh, those questions, just to remind you of the previous questions. And I will say here uh, is the uh, question regarding the approaches. Approaches of uh, what are the criteria of evaluation? Here we'll go to the question number. Uh, here we go now. What are the criteria of evaluation? This is the first question today.
So I will highlight now this question and we'll stop here right for about five minutes for the answer of this question. The criteria of evaluation, let me remind you that there are, we have two criteria for evaluation, the training, internal criteria, associated with the contents of the training and development, external criteria associated with the cost benefit analysis of training and development. So the first one contents and the second one was cost and benefit analysis of the training and development. And each one of them, like we said before, like we said before the first one, uh, we have URL, the internal include URL Patrick approaches, Kiro approaches and IPP approaches. All this in the internal. The URL is for the world's reaction involves where the participants pleased with the program. Are they okay with the program? Learning, did they learn from the program? Their behavior changed after the program. The results, uh, they are changed positively or no. Uh, CIRO approaches, like I said, contents, inputs, reaction, and outputs of any uh, training program. The CIPP, the contents, the inputs, the process, and the product, and the product evaluation. Those are the three uh, internal criteria. Uh, there is for training programs. Shall leave you here like around five minutes to answer this question. Please go for more details and you can answer on your notebook, please. Answer on your notebook. Shall be back uh, and resume working after five minutes on the other parts of this lecture. Thank you.
Okay, those are the criteria of evaluation. And uh, this is how we can evaluate uh, those types of uh, training. And this was the first part of the lecture today. And just let me go back to it again, just to remind you guys, uh, we have two types of criteria for training and development. Those two types are internal criteria associated with the contents of training and development. And the second one is external criteria associated with the cost benefit analysis of training and development. Uh, if we talk about the internal, it consists of the URL, URL or URL. Patrick approaches, and we have Kiro approaches, and we have CIPP approach. You can say CIRO or CIPP, CIPP approach. We'll take them. The first one, URILE, is uh, involves levels of evaluation and the answers of four questions. Those four questions are very important, net. Uh, reaction, learning, behavior, and results the reaction and the learning and the behavior and the results. Those are the questions about the training program, how to evaluate the training program. The reaction, uh, was a participant very pleased to be here in this program or no? Learning, did he learn? What he, did he come to learn from the program? What did the re re trainee came to learn from the program? Behavior, how did the pro program uh, it changed the training program, changed his behavior results. What are the outputs of the uh, training program that reflected on the trainee? The trainee now is able to do what? Before this, he was not able to do this course or whatever. Now he's able to do. These are the results. The second kind is Kiro again, CIRO approaches. So this approach gives importance to the context, which is C, C in the context, C here in the context, I for the inputs, then R for the reaction, and O for the outputs of the approach. It involves collecting of information about performance deficiencies and setting objectives with three levels, immediate, intermediate, and ultimate. The input evaluation, like what? Relevant merit and the merits of different training and development. Is it feasible for outsourcing the training program? Should it be recognized, organized with internal resources? How much time required for preparation? What results were obtained when a similar program was conducted in the past? Those are the questions about the CIRO. Let's go to the next one, which is, we'll go to the next one, which is CIPP. Uh, this, I see the evaluate the training program using this point, which is context evaluation, C, and I for the inputs evaluations, and P for the process evaluation, and the other P, because they are CIPP. C for contents, I for inputs, uh, P for process, and the last P for the product evaluation. Involves measuring and interpreting the attainment of training and development objectives. Uh, we had a question already about what are the criteria of evaluation? And what I talk about was the internal criteria of evaluation with these three measures. Uh, shall leave you now and get back to the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, everyone.